Dillo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live. But you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, don't forget, if we do go live and you miss it, and you want to catch up on a previously recorded live, or you want to be ready for the next live, just go to um, twitch.com. You feel me? And type in the socials. They right here at the bottom of the screen, man. Uh, Y'all will see them more later throughout the video. But, yeah, this is a warning. I am I just put it just in case, man. Anyway, this is Wendell. Shout out Wendell, man. Taking us where we can't go because we're not there yet. Uh, but, inside England's most deprived town, the truth. Wendell, man. Hey, holla at me. Because I'm going to be out there, bro. I will do one of these with you just, just to, like, go. Like, we could do a London one. <laughs> we could go to, to the hood in the London one and really say something, see something. I don't know. We could do whatever you got in mind, like, and, and, and I'm able to slide with you. I'm, I'm with it. Uh, this is inside England's most deprived town, the truth. This is, where is this again? Jaywick? All right. Start off terrible. That's crazy. Welcome to Jaywick, England's most deprived place. <laughs> Welcome back to Wendell's Adventures Around Britain on a very cold and windy February day here in Clacton on Sea. Now, no mission around Britain would be complete without a visit to the S. I'm not gonna lie, this looks depressing. This neighborhood, this looks very depressing. Six seaside, and look at it in all its glory here. What a sight to behold. But more importantly, I can imagine that it looks it's decent in like the two days of summer y'all got out there. No mission to show the real Britain would be complete without a visit to the notoriously deprived Jaywick, which is just a mile or so down the coast from Claxton. Now, Jaywick's had oh, a lot of bad press over the years, a lot of documentaries and videos showing it as the most deprived place in England. But my mate backpacker Ben came and made a video here recently, and he said, Wendell, the people are amazing. They're really warm and friendly and pleased to talk to you. So I thought I'd come down and show what Jaywick really is like in 2024. First of all, Let's have a wander around Clacton. Let's see what the locals are like here. Let's see what they think of Jaywick just down the road. And then we'll venture down to Jaywick and meet the locals there too. Jaywick, let's find out the truth. Let's go. So what's life like in Clacton these days? At the winter, it's very quiet. Obviously, in the summertime, you get all the visitors come down and everything else. Pretty safe place to live. Cheers. Um, oh, blimey, that's a question to ask, isn't it? Yeah. Um, we have had a large number of stabbings. Oh, dear. That is bad because that does bring the old area down. That's the sort of thing that would bring down Clacton. Yeah. It would bring it down. Yeah. But, um, as I said, in the summertime, it's busting. And what about Jaywick? So, after, after, Jaywick. I, after I film Clacton, I'm going to go to Jaywick. Jaywick's um, a different matter. Yeah. In what way? Jaywick has got a bad rep, but I'm not being funny. It's a community, and I know people in Jaywick, and they're such lovely people. She seems like such a, like, great woman. Like a warm, spirited... Like, let me cook you something type of situation. Like everything else, you'll always get a couple of bad apples in a barrel. But with the people that I know from Jaywick, got art of gold, do anything for anybody. Yeah. They look out for one another. It's just unfortunate, the situation that they've got to live in. Yeah. You know, because originally, them huts wasn't for homes. Yes. Yeah. Them huts was just for holiday homes. They were built in the 20s for That's holiday right, homes yeah. and then the war. That's it. East, and East London has moved over, yeah. Yeah, and see, and they've started renting them out. Oh, being quite honest, they're not really livable. Yeah. Not fit for permanent habitation, no. No, they're not, no. because they're just wooden shacks. I live in one of them. In Jaywick, do you? Yeah. 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 And I'll tell you, 
thing about these wooden houses is these these little rabbit hutches we live in down there. You're gonna get you get a lot of rats, a lot of mice. Yeah. Oh yeah. They yeah. like north river. A lot of werewolves come and huff and puff and blow them bitches down. My bad. I don't curse. <laughs> my bad. Plasterboard and stuff yeah, to get well, to I the food. Yeah, I don't know about that. They're in my loft. I don't. And they have a rave every night. I you need to get a cat. I've got three kittens and they're running away <laughs> from them. Oh, Ben. <laughs> People can turn around and say, yeah, but I've heard something so bad, Jamie. Don't listen to gossip. Yeah. Go and see for yourself. Go and have a look yeah, and talk to people. You've yeah. got to go and see for yourself. Yeah. It's my fucking first day in collecting, mate. Isn't first day. What are yeah. your first impressions, first day? That's what I mean. It's love, love it, not me. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, it's like uh, arcades and everything. <laughs> What's he was talking fast in the mud. What's life like in Clacton? It has its ups and downs. I mean, it uh, can be a pleasant place to live depending on where you, what region you're in. So it's like, yeah, it can be rather hectic. I mean, the town centre, I've heard, it gets a lot of trouble. I haven't really okay. experienced too much of it myself, but yeah, you know. You get it from time to time. Are you dressed up like this for a reason, or is this no, what you're dra no, dressed no, no, in every day? No, it's just a winter seasonal thing. You look fine. That's just the drip, huh? Bro got that on, hey. Fantastic. Yeah, 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 thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. after like this, it. I'm heading to Jaywick. Oh, right. What's Jaywick like? Um, well, I hear it's like one of the poorest places in the country, yeah. so, um, I don't know, I think, you know, I think it'd be okay, but, you know, I would say, you know, maybe be careful. I don't know, because there's probably, like, people are more desperate there. Like Jaywick and Outwoods, it, there's always problems in the area there and there. So what's Jaywick like? Obviously, it's it's got a reputation as being incredibly poor. It is. I mean, the other day, sad boat, a, a, a grandmother lost her life, you know, through two dogs. And then my mum, she lives on the back of that road, so it was a shock. We was out at the time, and we come back to seeing all that going on. One man game. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Fine, thank you. Yeah. Do you want someone to play football with you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, mate. He <laughs> said absolutely not. Good guy, Wendell. Though you tried. And we're Everybody don't want friends, though. I get it. I probably would have said no to it. I'm just outside trying to clear my mind. For some reason, I thought this video was 40 minutes. It's only 23 minutes. Okay. So, Clacton might be a bit grim, but I can... So, Literally looks like the best part of the video we just seen at Arcade. Clacton might be a bit grim, but I can say that it's got a hell of a pier. You've got all the amusements inside that I just filmed. And all this outside, I know it's winter and it's dead, oh, but this nice. must be absolutely heaving in summer. It definitely beats painting pier. Yeah, this is like above average. This is one of the nicer piers that I've seen from out there. Last classic British seaside pier that I visited on this journey. I was in Paynton most recently, oh, okay. and that's nothing like this. This, yeah. this must be cranking in summer. I'll tell you what. Uh, the investment that we put into this green leaf, but yeah, it attracts people. Is this what you think of when you think of the great British seaside? Look at this water, not exactly crystal clear, is it? It's a bit like chocolate milk. I would not want to go for a swim in that. A new report has just come out highlighting something that we already know. Millions of people in the UK are struggling financially. People aren't choosing to live paycheck to paycheck. The reality is that it's been over 20 years and six different prime ministers and the financial crisis in this country is only getting worse on the government's watch. Which is why I choose to take some control back by staying informed about what is really going on in today's politics. And to do that, I use today's sponsor, Ground News, which is a web- Ah, man. Salute to you. I didn't know what was going on. Salute for the sponsorship, though. I don't get hit up by sponsors. I do, but it don't. It doesn't really fit into my channel what they be asking me to do. Like I gotta believe in it. Like I gotta actually like. I don't want to be looking at a sponsorship and y'all be like, "That's cap, bro. Don't use that." You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but salute though. 
I am more than less in, than informed about what's going on in the political climate of the world. I mean, not the world, but maybe the USA for sure. Resource. You can get less than one. As I wander up from Clacton. So as I wander up from Clacton by the pier there, all the way up the coast, about two miles to Jaywick, this I thought nice. I'd fill you in on a little bit of history about Jaywick itself. Built in between. This is nice, the graffiti. 20s, initially as a development for holiday chalets for working class people, mainly from the east of London. Dwellings in Jaywick were never meant to be habited full time. They weren't meant to be lived in year round. In the Second World War, property where people lived in East London was destroyed through bombings. They relocated to their holiday chalets in Jaywick and they lived there year round. And then over the years, basically, they've just become more and more disrepaired and unfit for habitation. And these days, there's very little employment in the area. And there's obviously, as many people know, a lot of poverty and a lot of struggle in Jaywick. How far is it up there to Jaywick? Uh, I would turn around to about a mile, mile and a quarter. Okay, yeah. What's life like in Clacton? Not too bad. We're retired, so we don't give a shit now, anyway. <laughs> but, You've uh, got the demeanour of a man that doesn't give a shit, I can no, tell. No, I don't fucking have it. Jaywick's um, an acquired taste. Okay. Uh, basically, it's where they've basically moved all the rough. So I've made it to Jaywick, folks. Let's see what life is really like in England's most deprived place. Kevin, nice to meet you. That's terrible. Like, what is going on? There's so much trash everywhere. What? England's most deprived place. Kevin, nice to meet you, mate. How are you? you? Yeah, yeah so Ke yeah, Kevin yeah. here runs the Sunspot Cafe, which is a brand new development just on the seafront at Jaywick. My dad was in the army. I grew up actually traveling around the world, um, but I came back to live here when I was 22. So, and I lived here for 28 years. Uh, fourth generation, great grandparents moved here after the war. Um, I've seen the place uh, change and develop over many, many years. And uh, yeah, this is a real positive, um, yeah, a positive, a positive building, a positive thing for the for the community. I mean, initially, Jaywick was was a holiday destination. It was it was places that you came in the summer. Um, you it was a, it was a, it was a place where you could actually buy a cheap bit of land, build your own little um, bungalow if you like, and then um, and holiday here through the through the summer, and, and in the winter it was closed. It was as simple as that. Um, People started living here all year round. Uh, why wouldn't you? The beaches are fantastic, they're beautiful. So Jaywick's had a bit of a bad rep, it's fair to say, over yeah. the years from documentaries and videos. What's life like? Yeah, this is not the first time I've watched a Jaywick thing, I don't believe. And I've heard it was terrible. I've seen that it was, you know, it had its, you know, fair share of wow moments. But like, I feel like to open up a cafe is kind of a bit of a risky move, right? Is it not? Like, cause you gotta open up something so appealing to the locals that they have no choice but to frequent it throughout the year, even in the slow season. Like, that's what you gotta do. Or it gotta be like a multi-purpose type situation where it's this in the winter and it's this in the summer, and a little bit of both. You know, we could do both at a time. But like, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't. I don't know if I could. Brain. Living in Jaywick, early 2024? Well, that's a very specific question. <laughs> but, um, simply put, it's no different to um, any other seaside town. We're busy in the summer and we're quiet in the winter. Um, we've got a fantastic community spirit here. Jaywick's an unusual place as in... Um, it's one of the only places where I've ever lived or been to or visited. And I'd, like I said, I've been around the world. Um, the you can walk down the street a complete stranger and everybody will say hello to you. I've noticed that. Yeah, They'll walking, say, walking down you? the yeah. seafront, yeah, everyone spoke to me. And they're genuinely interested, like, how are you, you know? Are you are you having a good day? Are you having a bad day? Um, it's not just, um, yes, it's got its problems, but what place hasn't? Um, 
but it's just that strong community feeling that, that you get here and that, and that, um, that welcome that you get in no other place. So walking in, I didn't really realise how bad it was. It didn't seem that bad when I first walked in. But this is now the sign of the deprivation. Yeah, it's pretty ran down, man. What is the local government doing? Like, this is crazy. Whole block of abandoned, in the torn area. down places? These, these buildings that were only really designed to be holiday chalets are just not fit for permanent habitation. And you can see the state that some of these places are in. I'm pretty sure the, the uh, land that this is built on is cheap. Somebody could come and rebuild on top of this. Like, like it would take like a company to come and like, yo, we're going to build affordable house or something that makes sense for the town. Organization. It's the saddest palm tree I've ever seen in front of that house. You feel me? I don't think I've seen another place quite like this in the UK. Nothing anywhere near. The mattress look clean. Just everywhere I go, everyone's just dumping mattresses, beds, sofas. Just like a crazy amount of fly tipping goes on here. Like no one's there to enforce any rules. Because everybody has given up care for the aesthetic of the place. What's this? So what's the inspiration behind this amazing Decoration. She's into Halloween big time. It just stays up all year round. What's life like in Jaywick 2024? What's the community like? Brilliant. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But I know for a fact. Where My boy is bigger than his house. Like, what is happening? Bless this house with a skeleton and a mummy and. Bless, that's crazy. Ain't the Halloween the devil's holiday? What you mean, bless this house? That's tough. Any blessings that come up, turn around. Before, if I was to knock a door at two in the morning, they're not going to answer. Yeah. I knock a door here at two o'clock in the morning. If I've got a problem, they're going to answer. So what what do you think about the reputation of Jaywick being the most deprived place in England? Uh, overrated. Very overrated. Over here, you've got a few bad roads, bad reputations, but on the whole, no. They didn't say crime ridden, they said deprived. And from what I've seen, I don't, I, I feel like it's a good sense of community here, but like, it is pretty run down. They got fresh rain water on tap out here, that's tough. I think the whole of Jay with the community spirit is absolutely 100%. Yeah. When something happens on the estate, everyone comes together. Good old fashioned sense of community yeah. spirit. And uh, when that woman got attacked the other day, yeah. got killed in two roads up, there was loads of people trying to get in the house to rescue her. Yeah, I heard that, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's what it's like around here. But yeah, the, yeah, the community spirit is good. It's You have your bad eggs, of course you do. But on the whole, I'm, I feel far safer than I did in my old road. So I think I what, really what, what done Jaywick a lot of harm was that bloody documentary series a few yeah. years ago. Yeah. Because when we told our neighbours we was moving to Jaywick, they just took the piss constantly. Oh, they laughed. Yeah. They, they laughed. Said yeah. I, was, I was stupid. And... It has a nationwide stigma, but I've heard Absolutely. nothing but good things before I came about the people. Yeah. Obviously, I feel like if you like to yourself and you don't really care about having fun, <laughs> move to Jaywick. That's the vibe I'm getting. Like, if you just, if it's you and your girl and y'all all to yourselves, so y'all introverts, and y'all just want somewhere peaceful, quiet, not too much going on, for sure. Not too much money being spent, for sure. We can live here. Poverty. It's quite obvious. Yeah. You know, looking at some of the properties. Yeah. But also, wandering around, you know, anybody that I've said hello to, they smile, yeah. they greet you like the old days. And then, like, I've just come up to your house. And I've shouted through the door, hello, will you come and talk to me? And you come out and spoke to me. That wouldn't happen anywhere else. 
What's for like the situation with? Are most of them rented or are they owned or is it a mix? Um, it's a mix. It's quite mixed actually. There's a lot, there's quite a few rented. Yes, um, we are owned. We own ours. Obviously, there was never a doubt in my mind. And there's quite a few owned in this street. Um, does that does that help or change the demographic of the street, or no, does no, it not no, really? Everyone mixes together. Like yeah. so, so it doesn't really matter with you. To a degree, I think it does. Um, whereas you may get your rotten eggs more in one, two streets than you would this street. Yeah. It's very quiet. Yeah. And that's a good thing. Yeah. Because the minute you hear something, you're alerted. Yeah. So when when I was in Clapton, I was speaking to people, and they said that. A lot of councils like East London, they tend to send some of their like their troublesome people to Jaywick, like out of sight, out of mind. It's Jaywick's problem now. Yeah. Does, is there any truth in that? Yes, there is. You will find a lot of people that have come down from London are unwanted in the areas that they are, so they tend to what I call pigeonhole and shove them in one area. Where it's kind of like what Chicago does to Iowa. <laughs> Anybody that. Uh, yeah, y'all need housing, y'all need low rent, low income, y'all need big houses for a lot of kids. All right, I'm sending you to Iowa. Get on up out of here. Or y'all, yo, you, you, are, you a troublesome person? All right. Let me see your paperwork. You need to, you ain't got no crib. Oh, you're going to Iowa. Get up out of here. See ya. Where they feel, or they're going to fit in. Yeah. Nine times out of ten, they don't. Yeah. But they honestly, really like, I, I make these videos, like, all around the UK. And this is one of the friendliest places I've been. Honestly, I'm, I'm comfortable saying that, you know. And often I go to places and like the poorer places, the more down to earth and welcoming people are. Oh, I love this place anyway, because my mum and dad used to Oh, y'all got us each other. When we was toddlers on holiday. So uh, I know this place like the back of my hand anyway before we moved here. Yeah, we retired here. Because literally I got the beach at the end of my road. What more do you want? How do you feel about, well, obviously there's a lot of dumped rubbish. There's oh, like yeah, dumped sofas, yeah. dumped mattresses. It's not nice to see. No. How do you feel about that? Because you, in your own very unique way, you really look after your property. So, yeah. so how, yeah, how do you feel about? We've got someone's even. This is where again, rotten egg is dumped around the back of ours. On your property. Yeah. There is a lot of rubbish. People do tend to. I think basically just they're laziness. Inconsiderate. They're inconsiderate. Yeah, it's yeah, total yeah. inconsideration and irresponsibility. Yeah, the, silly their thing, part. the silly thing is, there's a dump not half a mile away. We're trying to get rid of that so ice down no there. Like yes. caravan. That caravan down there. I was going to go. And that's why I was walking down the street yeah. initially. I saw the caravan. I thought I'll have a look it's at a that. Skip. that, yeah. that so the caravan's a skip. A skip. Yeah, it basically. has become a skip, become a skip for people that are just dumping rubbish in it. So apparently this caravan at the end of a road has been left there and has now become the skip for the street. Let's take a look. Why doesn't the city just lay skits around like so people could just dump them and then just pick them up? That would provide, like it would help clean up the neighborhood and it would provide some jobs. you have Prime, you can get a year of grip up Easier said than done, obviously, but... Look at that. So the caravan, oh which is God. completely abandoned, has now become the skip for everything that people don't want in this street in Jaywick. Only in Jaywick. It's such a shame because the people are so warm and welcoming, but yeah. there's so many infrastructure. It's just been forgotten, hasn't it? Yeah. Like, yes. the, like the people that should be sorting these things out in 2024. It's been mislabeled. <sighs> yeah. Definitely. Where's Window from? Is he from Manchester? Whose fault? Whose fault is it? Who can we point the finger at for the the lack know? of infrastructure? Oh. He sounds like he's from the exact same place where a beard meets food. Same place from him. Councils. It is a good place. To tell you the truth, we love it down here. It is we won't, underrated. Won't go back to where we was. Oh God, no. But every, I feel so much safer here. There seems to be a trend for a lot of abandoned caravans in Jaywick. A lot. Of Low key, man. I come start a caravan rental business. I come grab all of these and fix them up. Uh, there's nobody's. All right, mine now. Thank you. People bought the caravans here. They've just been left to be overgrown, boarded up, or just full of all the crap that no one wants. You 
genuinely say I wouldn't feel threatened to go grab one of these, like what, like wildlife and snakes and things of that, because there's none out there. Definitely. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. I'd come and grab all of these and redo them for the low and rent them, sell them, whatever. All these abandoned caravans are just becoming municipal skips for these streets. Sell them however I need to sell them. So you've been here a couple of weeks, just yeah. moved to Jay. What is that? If any person enters without my permission, without is one, okay, my permission, a cur, oh wow. Okay. So you've been here a couple of weeks, just yeah. moved to Jaywick. What's life like in Jaywick so far? It's been all right for me. Uh, as long as you treat people with respect you expect to be treated with, it's yeah. supposed to be all right. Oh, that's the fast talker. He's gonna turn So what's up. life like in Jaywick? Well, it's pretty good. It's a, it's a bit of fun, it's relaxing. Yeah. We've, we've got the seaside over there. Of course, yeah. People uh, friendly, they're nice. Possibly could be better for the poverty stricken, really. So, of course, the true way to find out about any community in Britain go is to, to go into a local pub. And the local pub in Jaywick is called the Never Say Die, which is quite an apt name for a town like Jaywick, which has definitely been left for dead by the local authorities, but is refusing to let go. <laughs> so what's life like in Jaywick? This is the local pub, hub of the community. This is the hub of the community. Yeah. Good people. Good people. Good people. Yeah, yes. I've come across really good people so far. Anyone needs anything, anyone's in trouble, you only have to ask. Yeah. We all look out for each other. Yeah. Everybody helps everybody else. And what do you think about all the negative press in the past? Well, I never wanted to come here, I'm not gonna lie. Been here seven years and it took me a year. But I started working in the pub. Okay. And that did it for me. Yeah, because I gateway met, to the I community. Met the community and I've never looked back, won't live anywhere else. Yeah, so Jaywick's quite a deprived place. There's no way of really sort of avoiding well, it's a good bit that. of investment. Yeah, I was, that was what I was That's leading to. That's all it needs, yeah. What, what can the local authorities do to improve some of the infrastructure around here? There's a lot, you know, of things that seem neglected. Decent housing. Replay. I wonder what would happen to the local community if I moved into Jaywick. Like, I just feel like if I move to Jaywick, like it's gonna, we're gonna turn up. It's gonna be lit. I've seen some of the old I believe ones. it's coming. I've seen some plans, and I believe it's coming. So, what's the pub like? What's the uh, what's the atmosphere in the pub like? This is fantastic. Yeah. There's two. There's two pubs. There's one up the, the top end. Three J's. I worked there yeah. as well. Great pub. Yeah. Um, this pub is the hub of our community and then they have their own sort of community and the two sort of intertwine with their entertainment. But this is just, we have an open fire go in, we sit round, it's people's front rooms. The open fire was the draw? Oh, okay, I get it. Like, it's like a homey thing. All the people that come out that are on their own, she does Christmas dinner, you know, she feeds them. And this is where they sit and it's like being in their front room. Do you know what I'd like to say? I'd like to say that I go all around Britain making these videos mm -hmm. and Jaywick does have poverty and it does have some of the issues that have been highlighted but it's like stepping back in time with a community like even these pubs they're, they're, they're shutting left right and centre all are. around the country yep. and then you come here and it's almost like going back 20 30 years yes my old hometown has barely a pub left in it now and now here I've come and there are pubs still here yeah and we don't want this one to shut so we all support it. Come and spend the money in yeah, here. Spend yeah, spend it in here. Clacton Pier. Hello, would you like to have Magic a City, did he do this one before? He's done Clacton before, but not Jaywick. Why'd you say that? Okay, mate. Yeah. Have a good day. <laughs> Window, that was it? Jaywick. Essex, in conclusion. Is it the most deprived place in England? Look, I haven't been anywhere any worse than Jaywick. It's right up there with Grimsby in terms of the places I've visited. But it's different to Grimsby because it's small, it's condensed into a small village size area. 
it's shocking in 2024 that people live in those conditions in the UK and it's not okay. And whoever's responsible for sorting out these problems, they need to get their act together because some of the dwellings and the conditions and the poverty that people are living in, it's not okay. But at the same time, the people are really warm, welcoming and just, they're quite cheerful considering the surroundings that they live in. So yeah, Jaywick, it gets a bad rep. People have a lot of negative stereotypes about it. It does have a lot of problems, but the people are wonderful. My whole wrap up just from watching this, man, it, it, it looked terrible. The conditions are terrible, but like like he said, the people look the people look like they support each other and they got each other back. And at the end of the day, man, the people make the town. So TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your posts. I'm gone.